Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing analytics and types of analytics. This is part 1 of descriptive analytics, nature of data, statistical model, and visualization. Here are the topics that we will be discussing today. Let us first discuss analytics. Analytics provides us with useful knowledge that would otherwise be concealed within vast amounts of data. In today's data-driven world, it's something that any leader, manager, or just about anyone will benefit from. Analytics is the forge that creates information, which has long been regarded as a powerful weapon. Analytics is revolutionizing not just the business world, but also science, sports, healthcare, and just about every other area where large volumes of data are collected. We can use analytics to uncover hidden trends in the world around us. This has the potential to alter our perspective of the universe, generally for the better. We may believe that a process is already performing at its best, but data may prove us wrong. So analytics can help us better our world. Here are some areas where analytics can be applied. We have uh, web analytics, fraud analysis, risk analysis, advertisement and marketing, enterprise decision management, market optimization, and market modeling. We now go to descriptive, predictive, and uh, prescriptive analytics. Before we discuss the three uh, types of analytics, let us discuss first the stages in data analysis. So first we have the descriptive analytics, the first stage. Uh, this tells us what happened. So it describes why uh, something happens in a in an organization or in a business. Next, we have diagnostic analytics. Now, this answers the question, why did it happen? Next, we have predictive analytics. Uh, this also this this answer the uh, answers the question, what could happen in the future? And lastly, we have the descriptive analytics or prescriptive analytics. Now, this answers the question, how should we rep respond to those potential future events? Now, let's discuss each analytics or each type of analytics one by one. First, we have the uh, descriptive analytics. Now, uh, there are different styles types and stages of data processing ha, that have emerged as a result of the big data revolution. Now, gaining the right information which provides insights gives businesses the ability to gain a competitive advantage. Uh, 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 this analytics okay, are the secret of company success using big data. Okay, the primary aim of big data analytics is to assist companies in making informed business decision. Okay, so the first one okay, is the descriptive analytics. Now, descriptive analytics is defined as providing information about what occurred. After a single, for example, after a single tweet or in a tweet in, in Twitter, okay, after a single tweet, for example, you may see a spike on Twitter followers, okay? 
Diagnostic analytics entails a more in-depth examination of data in order to determine the cause of events and habits. So, why, for example, why the spike okay, of Twitter followers in a, in, a, in a single Twitter account, for example, okay? So, how does descriptive analytics work? Okay, so to discover historical data which uh, descriptive analytics use, okay, uh, descriptive analytics employs two main methods, okay, data aggregation and data mining. Okay, the process of gathering and arranging data to create manageable data sets is known as data aggregation. Okay, so the first thing, okay, there are two methods, data aggregation, data mining. After that, okay, we go to uh, 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 data aggregation, which is collecting and organizing data. The second, okay, uh, step is, okay, is the data mining, wherein patterns, trends, and meanings are identified. Okay, so that is what the uh, uh, data mining uh, is used for. Now, remember that descriptive analytics does not seek to go beyond the surface data and analysis. Further research is beyond the scope of descriptive analytics. And descriptive analytics observations are not used to make interference or in, uh, inferences or predictions. So what are the information that we can derive from descriptive analytics? Okay, so descriptive analytics can provide us reports, okay, such as inventory reports, workflow reports, sales reports, and revenue. Okay, it can also provide us social analytics like the average number of replies per, per post. For example, another, another is a number of page viewers. So some of these you can relate because you can experience this uh, in your uh, probably in your uh, social media accounts. Okay, another is average response time, and that's the attitudes. Okay, so when you say attitudes is uh, the browsing uh, uh, sites. Okay, or when you or when you are browsing the the internet, what are the uh, uh, most commonly uh, websites that you uh, visit okay so as uh, if you can remember or if you know uh, there is a history option in a browser where in all your websites or where in all the websites that you have visited they okay, are listed the next type is the predictive analytics okay so Predictive analytics is a form of advanced analytics that uses both new and historical data to forecast behaviors and trends. Okay? Uh, it involves constructing predictive models that assign a numerical value or ranking to the likelihood of a particular event occurring using statistical analysis techniques, analytical questions, and automated machine learning algorithm. So how does predictive analytics work? Okay, probabilities are used in predictive analytics. Okay, predictive analytics aims to forecast potential future outcomes and the probability of those events using a range of techniques including data mining, statistical modeling, okay, and machine learning algorithms. Now, machine learning algorithms, okay, uh, for example, takes existing data and try to fill in the gaps with the best possible guesses in order to make predictions. So, the uh, predictive analytics uh, uses machine learning algorithms to predict future events. So, the machine learning algorithms is essential in uh, predictive analytics in order for it to guess or to forecast what is, uh, what the future may come, okay, in a given or in a particular organization or in a particular situation. The last is the... Uh, 
uh, the different okay, information that we can derive from uh, predictive analytics. Okay, so here are the different uh, uh, information that we can get using or uh, during pres prescriptive analytics. Okay, so pres pres predictive analytics allows executives and managers to take a more strategic data-driven approach to business planning and decision making because it can tell them what will happen in the future predictive analytics may be used for a variety of purposes including predicting cons uh, consumer behavior and buying habits as well as detecting sales uh, sales trends okay uh, let me give you an example here so if you are or if you have a a uh, an app in your cell phone for example uh, that you uh, for 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 buying and selling okay so you may uh, uh, what do you call this you, uh, you may uh, see that uh, based on your on on the items that you bought on a particular app selling app okay uh, it gives you suggestions okay based on your uh, uh, the items that you bought online okay We now go to the prescriptive analytics. Okay, prescriptive analytics is used to determine the best outcome. Okay, uh, to events given the parameters to a or to propose decision strategies for taking advantage of potential opportunities or mitigating future risk. Okay, this methodology is the third final and the most advanced stage in the business analysis process and the one that calls business to action helping executives managers and operational employees make the best possible decisions based on the data available to them so how does prescriptive analytics works Okay, prescriptive analytics expands on what has been learned through descript descriptive and predictive analysis by proposing the best possible courses of action for a business. A variety of techniques and methods such as guidelines, okay, statistics, and machine learning algorithms can be applied to available data from both internal and external data. Now, next uh, discussion, we will be discussing the different uh, data and also the nature of data. Okay. Now, in order to make predictions and recommendations, okay, machine learning capabilities far exceed what a person would do while attempting to achieve the same performance. So what are the information okay, that we can derive from prescriptive uh, analytics? Okay. So first okay, is we can make recommendations in regard to which decision will best take advantage for future opportunities or mitigating future risk. Another is make it possible or makes it possible to consider the possible outcomes for each before any decisions are made okay so somewhat uh, predictive is like a, a uh, related close related to the outcomes of the uh, pre uh, of the uh, uh, predictive okay predictive uh, analytics okay lastly we have can have a real impact on business strategy and decision making to improve things such as production customer experience, and business growth. Okay, we now go to our last topic for this video. We have the uh, uh, advantages and disadvantages of the three types of analytics. Okay, so first we have descriptive analytics. So what are the disadvantages and disadvantages of descriptive? Okay. First, we have the business can relatively quickly 
and easily report on performance and gain insights that can be used to make improvements. Next, we have, okay, uh, this is a disadvantage. Okay, it doesn't work beyond the surface of the data. Next, we have the predictive. Okay, so predictive advantages and disadvantages. Okay, predictive analysis is based on probabilities and can never be completely accurate. Okay, so because this is we are just guessing what the future uh, possibilities that can happen. Next, we have can act as a vital tool to forecast possible future events and inform effective business strategy for the future can act as a vital tool to forecast possible future events and inform effective business strategy for the future and can improve areas of business including efficiency, customer service, and detection and prevention and risk reduction. Now on prescriptive, okay, here are there or its disadvantages and advantages. Okay, provides invaluable insights in order to make the best possible database decisions to optimize business performance. Requires large amounts of data to produce useful uh, results, which isn't always available. So that is a disadvantage. Cannot always account for all external variables, which is also a disadvantage. And lastly, the use of machine learning dramatically reduces the possible of human error, which is a or an advantage. So those are the disadvantages and advantages of the three types of analytics. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.